welcome to my youtube channel in last lecture i have shown you how to make this all okay let me show you a quick demo what i have done in the last lecture in last lecture i have shown you how to make this this and all these functions how it is working today i'm going to show you how to write program for add new patient record okay let me show how actually add new patient record will be look like When we click on add new patient record it needs to be look like this and how to make this i'm going to show you step by step and how to perform this save click and how the data need going to be saved in the database i will show you today okay so now let's start with that first of all what we need is that when we click on this we need a panel to overlap this okay so first what we need is panel okay just drag and drop it here we have panel panel is like a plate in which you can put fruits like text box and other buttons whatever you want to put you can put in a plate in the same way this panel works okay so let me check the size of this picture box so that i can keep the same size of my panel let me just copy it and just change its size and click enter make sure that this panel exactly overlaps over that picture box okay so here we go now let me show you what happened when we execute it here we go picture box is not visible now what we need when this dashboard pop up picture needs to be visible and when we click on this this white page needs to be here so for that we are going to code at the dashboard load event for that we need to click double click on the dashboard here and here what we need to write is this panel needs to be hidden when the dashboard loads so what's the panel name is uh, let me check the panel name design name is panel one so what we want is panel one dot visible is equal to false okay so now let me show you what happened now here you can see this uh, now the picture box is visible and panel is it and now when I click on this add new panel record patient record nothing is happening why because I have not written a few line of code here let me write it what we need whenever we click on the add patient button that panels need to be visible so that panel one dot visible is equal to true okay here we go now just execute it now here you can see what happened when i click on this that's white panel pop up now it's working perfectly now what we need is we need to draw actually the all text boxes combo box and all the levels for that let me copy the first text box here we go how many text box we need is let me just copy and paste it okay this much is enough for this and one combo box just drag and drop it here i will show you how actually it's going to work now level we need levels yeah it's very important level. two for each text box there needs to be a level like this okay. um, 
now let me change it its name not the design text that is for patient name first after that we need is address after that we need patient contact number okay after that we need age and then gender after that we need blood group blood group is important okay blood group after that we need past history in major disease so for this actually helps the doctor okay and we need one more level okay so what is that for that for patient id now let me arrange it in a proper way okay so name needs to be in this format make it large enough so that it look good manage the space between it just by dragging this the side needs to be this and after that actually we need this combo box for gender because select easily Here it is. Here we go. Now gender, and this is blood group field. Okay. Now <clears throat> just arrange it as you feel like. Just try to make it look sexier. I'm just making what I can do the best with it. Like this. And I need a button. Here. Let me change its name to save. And now it's designed name to DN save. Okay. And just make it a bit upward because it's looking down. Now it's good. Now a level is missing. Let me take a level. Just drag and drop it here and change its name to no, not design name. Add new patient record. Now it's looking a bit more good. Just moving this all down. Now just place it here. Make it. Bold, I guess I can do that just by clicking on this form and increase the size to 12. Okay, here we go. Now it's look good. Let me show you how actually it's looking. Now click on this. Now here we go. 
here we see that nothing is in this uh, combo box let me put something in this combo box just click on this edit items like me okay and so email and other <coughs> sorry just click on okay now wherever we run this now we will see these options in this and one rectangular shape to make it look nice okay this will show the boundary for this this will actually be the boundary of this panel it large you know there we go now it's cured and you will see how actually it look like here we go this is the boundary before this this is not visible now it's look much good okay so let me place it on the right place now what we do is we need to change the name of design name of each text field so that we can easily remember it okay for that uh, let's put it name is txt name okay after that address just go to properties you can do like this properties and a design name make sure that you're changing the name and design name okay so change its name to j txt address and after that contact number for that you need to do is txt contact you just need to keep this in such a way that which can be easily rememberable okay so this is a combo box so sorry it's a text box so I'm going to keep its name txt h and here it's combo box so that I'm going to put it in as just combo and gender after that what we need is blood group and I'm going to change it to txt blood <coughs> after that we are going to change this value this AD measure support earlier to txt a and y a and y and click enter for patient id i am going to change it to txt b i d okay now we are done with this all and what we need is we just need to perform the click event on this and after that all these records need to be saved into my database so now I'm going to show how to create this uh, database for this insertion. Let me show you. So now I'm going to show you how to create the database for this. For that, uh, I am going to start the MySQL um, Studio server. Here you need to perform two tasks. First, we you, you need to write this query and execute, and after that, write these query and then execute first after executing this change this to hospital and then execute this okay uh, this is showing error because I have selected this database and in data in this database I have already the, have this table okay so that's why it's showing error uh, you need to execute this uh, just pause the video and write this in your uh, SQL queries uh, SQL server management studio okay uh, now let's go forward to our program and here I'm going to write 
code for this safe button okay so just double click on this to generate a click event now this click here pd and save click event is generated this what we first need to do is we need to extract the values from the text box okay we need each of the values entered by user into a text box into a variable okay so for that i'm going to write like this string name this is the variable we are creating and how to extract the data we have written the design name text txt name dot text okay so what is exactly this is txt name is the name of this text box and what we need from this text box is text that's what i have written here so without wasting time let me copy the code for rest of the rest of the extraction of data from the each field okay let me search here we go this is the code okay just let me show you okay here we are extracting all the data from each folder uh, sorry i have already written it just remove it now what we need is we need to create an sql connection to the database and how to do that first we need sql sorry sql connection It's showing error because I have not imported the library. Just click on this. Use SQL uh, using system data dot SQL client. Just click on this. It will remove the error. And on I'm creating a connection object. New SQL connection. And just click on this. And after that, you need to make a connection by passing connection string and it's equal to what we need is data source is equal to in connection string we pass the data source as uh, what is your uh, database and uh, database location for that we need to just go to this connection object explorer you need to copy this okay and copy this okay and paste it here and after that put two slash and sql express you just need to write like this okay sorry Actually, SQL Express is already written it. You just need to add one more slash here. And what is your database? My database, my data base is equal to hospital. My database name is hospital. And integrated, it's asking for security. Okay. So in Equal to just write it true. Nothing else we need it. Sorry, this needs to be like this. And now, what we need is we are going to create an SQL command. Sorry. new SQL command like this to perform an operation and uh, we are passing this command connection is so equal to the connection string after that whatever we need to execute is cmd dot command text and let me just copy this text I hope you know how to write it okay. so just copy this all and I will explain you what exactly it is. Just copy this and paste it here. Okay. So I have shown you 
till here. This is insured into add patient. Add patient, this is a SQL query. Add patient, let me show you. Here we have created the table add patient. In this table, we are going to insert the data. The data should be inserted in the same order in which the table is created. Firstly, the name, after that full address, after that contact, after that age. Okay, here you can see firstly name, address, contact, age in the same way. If you are inserting a uh, string, then you need to put like this one extra single ex explanation mark. And if you are putting an integer, you need to write the value like this. And this is concatenation by putting plus. Okay, so actually, this is not name, this is the var variable and the variable value is assigned with this SQL query. And after that, we have performed this SQL uh, data adapter and these functions to execute this property, okay. Now, what we need is, we need to put this in try catch block. Let me show you why I'm putting this in try catch block, okay. So this is actually SQL, you are going to write in something wrong it's going to cows an error or exception so let me handle this um, catch what you catch catching exception okay so what we need is we need to show this message box show that Okay, let me execute this first. Okay. <clears throat> After that, we will see that the data is being inserted in the database or not. Okay, so let's start this program. Add patient, name is Rakul, and address is Delhi. Contact number is something like this. Age is 25. Gender is male. Blood group is A positive. Any major disease suffered? Yes. And patient ID needs to always needs to be unique. For that, 256. And just save it. And now let me check this in the database. So um, now select. Select star from what add patient. Okay, so just execute it. And what we have added is Rakul Delhi. This is a uh, actually what we have added here. You can match it Rakul Delhi. This, 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 yes, and 256 ideas. So now what we want is whenever we click on this save button, every data within this needs to be clear. And how we are going to do that? So we are going to do that by just writing few more lines. Okay. Txt name dot clear. It's actually clear the text field. Okay txt name is a text field name and what we want to do that it's clear after the insertion and everything is done this needs to be clear okay so do same thing for rest of the uh, let me copy this just copy this and paste it here for combo box, we need to perform a clear method is not there for combo box. Combo box method is reset text. Okay. So whenever we are going to write it, uh, data in it, and whenever we click on the save button, the data is going to be saved in the database and all this field is going to be empty. Okay. So what we need is, uh, now uh, we need a pop-up that shows that data is saved whenever we save the data okay so for that i'm going to 
just write one message box here message box dot show data seed I just need this okay whenever we are going to click on the save it is going to insert the data and this will pop up this and when we click on that ok pop up message box all the text is going to be clear and we are going to write something like uh, invalid data format or invalid ID. Now let me show you what happened when we enter something wrong. HMS and pass. So let me write something like this, and these fields are empty. So invalid data format or invalid PID. Now let me show you how to perform, how actually this uh, is going to be cleared or not. For that, I'm going to enter new name is. Third wallet. After that, address is US. Contact number is one three. And like this, and go on. Is a study plus gender needs to be male. Blood group A B positive. After that, I need to if it is no patient ID needs to be unique. And for that, two forty one. And just click on save button. Data saved into the database, and when you click on this, here you can see all the data text fields and combo fields are empty. And now let me show you the database. Clear it here. Cut waller is here. So in today's lecture, I have done this for the add new patient record, and the next lecture I'm going to show you how to add diagnosis information. Let me show you a quick demo. What is in there? In that button. Okay, add diagnosis information. Here you I'm going to show you how to work with this. Like okay. And how to add these and insert into the database. Okay. So for the today's lectures, I'm done. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel and please do your do your something like to and share and comment and if you need something you need the source code please put your email ID in the comment box or follow my videos thanks